Hey, welcome back Intermediate Algebra. So this Khan Academy, graph parabolas in all forms. They're going to give it to you either in vertex form, standard form, or in um, factored form. And you just need to graph it. You need to graph the vertex, which is always going to be this coordinate right here. That dot always will represent the vertex, so you have to get there. This dot can go um, either on the x-intercept, it could be your y-intercept, or it could be a random point along the way that is not the vertex. So that one can kind of be at your discretion. So this first one was given to you in vertex form. Okay, You'll notice you know, you're probably going, yeah, but wait, there's no number here. There's no plus or minus number. Well, you're right. So it's either plus or minus zero. It's just zero if it's not there. So the vertex on this one is simply positive 2. Remember, it's the opposite of this one. So positive 2, 0. Okay, so the first dot, this dot here, we're going to move this dot over to positive 2, right here, positive 2, 0. That's where the vertex goes. Now, you probably notice I already have the other dot put down here. So how did I get to negative 6? Well, I know that this is my y-intercept. I know that my x-coordinate at the y-intercept is 0. So I just decided to plug in a random point, And I love 0 because 0 is so easy to work with. So I decided to plug in 0 into my equation. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. Now that I know that this equals positive 4, positive 4 times uh, negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So I know my y-intercept is negative 6. Just that easy. Okay, let's do another one now. This one comes to us in standard form. Again, this might be one of the harder ones. Um, and so in standard form, we know right away our y-intercept is at positive 3, okay? So I need to actually move the vertex, I need to move this vertex point off there because I know that I can move this dot to positive 3 right here. So I'm going to do that right away. I'm going to move this dot, and you'll see how I got to the vertex in a minute. But at least I can put my first dot right there on positive 3, which I get right here from my standard form. Now, to go to vertex form. Remember, the first thing we got to do is look at these two. We got to factor out an 8 out of both of those. So we're going to take an 8, and we're going to put that before the parenthesis because these two terms had an 8 in common. So I'm going to factor out that 8. Next thing is you should know that 16 divided by 8 is 2x. So I have a 2x left over. Well, what is half of 2x or 2? And you might go, well, 1 is. So then we have an x plus 1 going in here. Okay. Well, then how do you get to this part? Well, again, 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we have to multiply it by the number in front. So 1 times 8 is 8. So I'm technically adding 8 by putting this 1 right here. If I add 8 to this, then I also need to subtract 8 from this. Well, I had 3 to begin with. If I subtract 8 from 3, I end up with negative 5. I think I told you this is the hardest form, and it is. Um, but that's how you get my vertex. And remember, your vertex is the opposite of this number, negative 1, and then this number, negative 5. So I go backwards 1, down 5, and there's my vertex right there. All right, so we so far have vertex form. We so far have standard form. The last form, which I think is the easiest form, is when they give them to you in factored form, which this one is. So here is our factored, whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm going to actually... Edit, undo, drag, drag, and drop. There we go. I'm going to take this and just lock that in place real quickly. All right. So we know from here that my two x-intercepts are going to be 1 and negative 1. So I'm actually going to take and put this dot right here at one of those two dots. I'm going to put that positive 1. Well, since I know that these two are 1 and negative 1, I know that my vertex comes in the middle of these two. So my what's in the middle of 1 and negative 1? Well, it's 0. Thank goodness, because I love 0. So I'm going to plug 0 in for x. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So my y-intercept, or my vertex, is at 0, negative 2. Put that in there, and that's all there is to it. Um, I'm here to check your answers on Google Hangouts. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.